Today I'm going to be turning a Majestic Squire Twist ink pen. I look for this to be a fairly straightforward project because the bushings are of identical size so it should just be a straight across turn. Um, I don't anticipate any issue. We're going to go ahead and knock it out real quick and see what happens. That definitely was an easy turn, um, nothing to it. We need to go ahead now and we're going to micro mesh this blank. And uh, I've got a few little, little um, I don't know what to call them, little scuff marks on it, but the micro mesh should take those right out. With the micro mesh, I really want to watch the back of this pad. You can see the slurry build up, and I really want to build up a good, thick slurry on the first two to three pads. Um, that lets me know I'm really sanding in and taking the surface down to level it up as, as nice as I possibly can. That will remove scratches. Whoa, that will remove scratches. See that? That's all the slurry off the top of the blank. I'm going to go back after it with the yellow pad. Let me just rinse it off a little bit. And once again, this is just to level this blank out as nicely as I possibly can. So you got a good slurry there. That's what you want to see when you're doing acrylic. We should be able to see a good slurry on at least the first three blanks. Sometimes I can get it to happen on the fourth, but the uh, last two, I said blanks, pads is what I meant to say. Generally the first three pads I can lay out a pretty good slurry. The fourth pad I can sometimes, and the last two pads I, I can never get a slurry worked up with those. Uh, I end up, if I work them too hard, I end up burning the abrasive surface off of the pads. Here's the third pad. Let's see if we can build a nice little slurry with it. Not too bad. The purple one here, this is the fourth pad. It's going to be difficult to build a slurry once in a while, once in a while, but pretty much if I just get a good, you know, there's a little bit on there, but it's just, it's tough because the, the abrasive is so fine on those, the fourth pad and fifth and sixth as well. Now as we inspect the blank, make sure it's good and dry, as we inspect the blank I should see no scratches and so far I'm not seeing a single scratch. It should be perfectly smooth, there should be no ridges on the blank and there aren't and there should be no little little holes in the blank. You know, Every now and then you get like a little bubble hole or something with acrylic 
um, and you can usually buff those out with the micro mesh if they're not too deep. That looks absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and take some polish and polish this up. I'm using a little bit of Plastex polish. This is for headlights on your car to take the uh, scratches and the haze off of them. I've just been using it. I bought this and I still have some of my hut polish. But I've just been using this because I'm just trying to get a feel for it and just to decide which of the two I like better. Uh, so far, I haven't found a whole lot of difference. Um, I do notice one thing when I take the polish off, the blank seems to be, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your, it, it'll squeak when you touch it with your finger. It, it, it's, like, it's like your finger will kind of stick to it. It's like really dry versus uh, the micro, the... Uh, the uh, hut polish which I don't it just tends to slide right off I don't know if that makes sense or not this is gonna be a really beautiful blank that is that's absolutely beautiful the color in that just explodes alright I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the lathe we'll head over to the assembly table and we'll press this together I'm ready to assemble this pen. This is the first time I've ever assembled a Majestic Squire. I have to say it's a really nice looking pen. The accents on it are just beautiful. This tip should screw or unscrew right out of the front. Since the blank is the same on both ends, it doesn't really matter which end you choose. I'm gonna have to add a block in there because, there we go. And let's put that cardboard behind it. I just want to... All right. That's beautiful. Nice fit. Look real nice fit. No gap. Nice transition. You can't feel where the pen nib stops and the uh, blank starts. Now we're going to take the clip assembly and we're going to press that into the opposite end. I'm going to have to remove one of these blocks now. I'm really happy about the upgrade I did to this, this, this pin press by using these blocks. It makes it so much quicker for me to assemble pins. And once again, I've got a beautiful fit there. There's no gap between the blank and the cap, and it's a perfectly smooth transition. I absolutely love that. If I'm correct, this should thread into here, and there we go, it does. Next up, we want to insert the cap, which is just pressure fit over top of that. We're going to remove this rubber protective tip from our ink refill. We're going to put the spring on, and I always look at the spring. This end looks a little fatter than this end. I always like to put the thin end on the refill, and the thicker end will go inside of the nib. But we're going to slide this into the pin. Then we'll put the nib back on, thread it. There we go. Whoops. Tighten that down all the way. Evidently, I did not tighten my transmission completely down because I'm unable to retract. There we go. I tell you what, I'm going to work with this a little bit because I've got a little bit of resistance when I try to retract and eject the ink. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with that for a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll talk about what I found and uh, we'll finally assemble the pin and show it to you. Well, I'm really not sure what the problem was. I simply unscrewed the transmission, popped the ink cartridge or the ink refill in and out a couple times, screwed the transmission back on, and now it's operating very smooth. So maybe the uh, ink cartridge just was jammed in there a little bit. I don't know. Beautiful pin, absolutely gorgeous pin. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today for the turning of this Majestic Squire ink pen. This is an absolutely gorgeous pen. The kit is just beautiful. And it, the operation of the pen is just so smooth. It's a very classy design. I love the gold accents with the chrome. It's got a nice little gold insert at the uh, cap, on the cap of the pen. Nice little gold trim ring here and up by the clip. It's just an all in all beautiful pen. It's even got a little rhinestone in the clip. Um, really happy with this pen. I was impressed with the kit. I'm impressed with the operation of the kit. The turn, it's probably one of the easiest pins you can turn. It's just 
a straight barrel, and that's all there is to it. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Have a great evening, everybody.